Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2004 for race 11 to 36 in the career mode. We're going to Richmond today. Um, if you have not watched last race, which was at California, check it out. I mean, it was kind of long. It was a long video, but there was some fun action uh, in the pack, so that was, that was cute. Going to team management, we're going to check out the garage. Uh, this is what the stuff's being uh, repaired as of right now. So we're kind of going into Richmond with uh, not 100% uh, conditions on the body, chassis, or engine. Not too bad. Like in the last video, I did upgrade, um, I revamped the entire pit crew, engine builder, fabricators, pretty much everything. So once all that stuff's repaired, and then when we can overhaul stuff in the future, it should be a little bit better. But uh, I decided not to go with the, I think the engine, or the chassis, to overhaul that, because we're really short on money, and I don't want to go bankrupt or any stupid things. So, yeah, so we're going to go on the race weekend. Uh, quick select, because there's only one other option. We're going with a 53 car rating. Not the greatest, but we'll do what we can to manage and get our sponsor objectives and all that. So we're going to do the race, do qualifying, and uh, see where we place. Across the stripes, this is the land again. This is the one they need if they want to start up front. He heads down into the turn. The final lap qualifying. He needs a good run here. Hang out the final corner now. The lap time will be a 21.8. That's a little bit better than the first lap. And 16th. <laughs> nice. We're going to play 16th in the race. Not too bad, actually. Looks like Newman and uh, Ricky Rudder on the front row, which that's that's adorable. So we're starting 16th. We're on the outside row, so that's a little dangerous. I'm, I'm scared shitless, so we're going to try to get to the bottom as soon as possible. So let's get into this race and begin this journey of trying to survive Richmond. Three, two, one. Green flex out. We're underway here. There's been 40 laps. We're gonna try to get to the inside right away. Uh, can't, couldn't quite do it. Can we stuck on the outside? Can we get down low? Can we get down low? Yes, we do. We just barely, almost slipped the back end of Rusty Walls there. So what we're gonna do now for the rest of this race as much as possible, we're gonna try to stay on the bottom lane. And if they're gonna get biased, they're gonna have to get biased on the outside. That's really all we can do. I mean, we don't have the car or the pace just yeah for whatever reason at this track on this game you can qualify pretty well but then race trim you're just not that fast it's weird some tracks are like that on this game but for right now we're just gonna have to really just race our own race kind of not to drive overdrive these corners and do anything dumb so we got to hit our marks really get uh just keep our car on the bottom if they're gonna get by us on the outside they're gonna have to do that or the only way they're gonna get by us is passing us on the outside and I just saw that uh, Steve Park is behind us and he's our rival after, can't remember which race that, uh, what occurred that we became rivals at. I'm sure there was a, video, a race at some point that I pissed him off at. So he, that's not good, so we're going to have to watch out for him. Bill Elliott's trying to get around us on the outside and we're kind of holding our own here on the inside, just kind of keeping him at bay. Oh god, we went up the track a little bit. No. Okay, let Craven go, alright. It's not too bad, it was only one spot. Is there a glitch in the game or something? Because, like, I I'm not losing any spots. Okay, never mind. Okay, I'm in 19th. That was weird. I feel like I was, like, in 18th, and then when Craven got, like, got by me, I was still in 18th. That was really odd. That must probably be me, but that was weird. Got one on. Six seconds back, let's get up there. Number 99 is coming high. Okay, we're clear. Oh my god, I'm sorry. Oh my goodness, I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to push. I, I, funny, because I was just contradicting myself now. I was just really wanting to hit my marks, but they're all over my back bumper. Like, I feel like if I go too slow into these corners, they're going to run me over or dive on the corner and get in, like, bump me out of the way and, like, I'm trying to push the car within its legal boundaries. Oh God, uh, oh, what am I doing? Benson and freaking, oh my God, Marlon got together. I was looking at that and got, got freaking distracted and got into them. Let those two go by me. They're they're kind of trying. They're up my ass a lot. Or right, we're going to go three wide in the two. All right, and, you know that's that's fine. Let them go. I mean, if they're gonna get by me, they're gonna have to go on the outside. Except for Craven, because Craven got by me on the freaking inside, because I messed up the corner. And one really bad thing, uh, 
with this car, just how slow it is. Sometimes it'll go into third gear, and then when it does that, um, it can kind of mess me up in turn two a little bit because it'll kind of make the car harder to drive. It's weird. Turn two at this track on this game is uh, really, really weird because you really have to be on the bottom lane going to that corner to really get a good exit. If you're on the outside, just in any sort of way, it'll just shoot you right into the wall, like no matter what. It's it's really odd. I, I think it's more of just, I don't know. I don't think Richmond's like that in real life, but turn two feels a little bit like sharp, sharper than turn four. I don't know. That could be me or, I don't know. So whatever, we're losing spots like always. But uh, the main objective is to get top 35. And once we do that, that will be pretty good. Um, Auto Club. Our uh, auto club, like, second half was way more interesting than the first, and this one is just uh, the exact opposite, because there's stuff going on all over the place. I'm just trying to keep my car just under control and stuff, trying to push it as much as I can without it trying to spin out, because it's on it's on edge. It feels on edge. Like, if I if I break any later than what I've been doing lately, I feel like it's just going to spin out. So I'm kind of try I'm trying to let the car coast in the corner just a little bit, just to keep the car the back end fine. Uh, it's weird to describe, but it's it's really tricky to, to nail it, and I feel like I've been doing that somewhat. We really messed up that corner. We're going down to third gear. It'll help us help us out just a little bit. Nemechek is behind us, and surprisingly enough, uh, Steve Park's not our rival anymore. We kind of drifted into that corner a little bit, and a diamond did a, a tiny bit, and there we go. We got off that corner okay enough. Surprisingly enough, I was trying to say, uh, Steve Park is not a rival anymore. He was in the red, and it went away, and now Joe Nemechek's our rival, which I think stems from, oh my goodness, I, I can't remember which race as well. I know the only one I remember is from Ricky Craven at freaking Rockingham, because I turned him in the final corner of the last lap, but that's, that's went away a long time ago, but I can't remember these guys, so we're going to have to be careful with them. I don't know the percentages, because... Just because they're red like this on the indicator doesn't mean that they're going to run us over. 60, uh, in a, in a 60 in the negative is normally when they get to you, so I'm, I, I don't know. I don't know if they'll get into me. They might race me hard, but I don't know if they'll get into me. So we'll see. Nemechek's right behind me. Schrader's trying to go on the outside. Nemechek really throws the car in the corner. The car goes back down to third gear. It kind of helps us out in this corner. The turn four is way wider than uh, turn two, or at least the exit is. So... Oh my god, the car wouldn't turn. I don't think I win the corner that deep. Oh god, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna die, we're gonna die, okay. No, why is Jimmy back? That's weird. Okay, so those two got by us. I messed up the corner. The car's getting much, much tighter now. I just realized it's lap 16. Uh, the tires and everything, they're, they're improved compared to where they were at the start of the season, but they're not anywhere perfect. And the car's getting really hard to drive. I'm gonna have to really back up these corners quite a bit now, and they're gonna probably run me over sooner or later so I'm glad that the pit stops will be coming up soon we're 27th at the end of this first or maybe 28th at the end of this first stint not too bad almost all four of the tires are worn we're really trying really trying to keep the car in bay but it's it's on edge it's uh it's starting to drive like shit and the car goes back down the third but it actually gave us a little bit of a help out of that corner it's weird low on fuel tires now are very worn these two guys up ahead of me are pitting i will be pitting on lap 19 going into lap 20 that just seems to be the the at least the most the best possible thing i'm pretty sure obviously i can extend that to like another extra lap or so at certain tracks but normally it seems to be the safe bet to always go at least one lap before halfway at least that's how i do it so we're going to go really slow in this corner try not to diamond it sadler oh my god i'm sorry sadler i was trying to get down pit road <sighs> okay, that, that could have been really bad. So we're not going to repair damage, no damage to the car itself. We're on the inside line here, which is kind of scary because I don't know if they'll pit it, so we're going to click done. Estimated time is 17.2. Let's see what they can do in this stop. I noticed the wedge was up 1.5, but we're going to leave it like that because if it's any other, if it's any lower, I feel like the car's going to get way too loose. So we got, went down pit road just fine. That's a big plus for us. Let's see what they, uh, see how the stop goes for me. Right side tires. One can of racing fuel going in. The crew will now swing over to the left side. This will be a four-tire stop. Four tires and two cans of 76 racing fuel. Oh my god, it was 17.9. That's garbage. It, they were so off the estimated time. We're going to be 31st. That's actually a little bit better. 
Oh god, I'm sorry, Biffle, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's actually a little bit... We didn't lose that much spots. I'm, I'm really surprised about that. We were in, like, 28th or something, 29th, when we were uh, going down Pit Road before all that uh, stuff happened. And now we're 31st, 32nd, so we didn't lose a whole lot. Compared to some other races where we lose, like, 10-plus spots, that's... That's better. I mean, it's not perfect by any means. It could be improved, but it's definitely, it's definitely a step in the right direction for this uh, for, the, for the team. So that's good. But now we're stuck in some more lead lap cars and everything because the Biffle side by side with me and the Nate who's behind me, who is a battle for the lead lap position, or at least a battle for position on the track itself. We get by Stan Barrett for 29th. We do just that. He does have fresher tires, so that should make. And be able to pass this relatively quickly. Oh my god, I'm drifting. Please. Okay, okay there goes uh, like a lap or two off the tires. So that's that's uh, really smart on my end, you know. You know, just gotta let the car drift in the corners. Get the get that tire wear going and you know, get them warmed up. <laughs> two, we're actually gonna gain a spot through the pit cycles. We're in 28th. How long will that last? I don't know, because these guys up ahead of me, they have fresher tires and there's so much smoke all over the place. I'm just going to try to just hold my own on the bottom here. I can't leave that out bottom lane open no matter what. So we're just going to take these corners and try to do the best we can and get through that corner just fine. Uh, Jeff Green is uh, behind me as well as uh, Stan Barrett. I don't think Terry Labonte is about for the lead lap position or an actual position on the racetrack. And here comes Jeff Green on the outside. I don't think we really have much of a choice to just let him go because he, he has a much faster car than us right now because of the tires and for whatever reason I tried to dive on the corner. Here comes Kurt Busch. Is he uh okay no he's not he that I was gonna say he might be a leader but uh he is a lead lap car and I'm sorry Gordon I'm blocking you but I have to get to the bottom. I can't leave that bottom open or else I'm gonna get just swarmed. So if he's gonna get by me, say it with me. He's gonna have to get by him on the outside. Because I said that like thirty times in this race. Surprised Terry Labonte is not a battle for an actual position on the track itself because he's normally back in like the mid 20s and 30s. So I'm very surprised to, uh, to see that. But Goran's gonna get by me on the outside. So is Stan Barrett most likely. Again, our, our goal is a top 35. And if we can do just that in this race, that'll be great for the team. We will get our sponsor objectives, we'll get the bonus money, and we'll get more in, uh, more income and all that stuff. So that's really the goal. Last race we got 33rd, I think, at uh, California. So we get we might have a better in, improved position compared to last race. But we got Brepo dying behind me. We got Junior, who's on the lead lap. Really pushed the car in that corner. Junior went wide. And now Brepo dying is past Junior. Still side by side with Stan Barrett somehow. Oh my god, I, I'm gonna have to really. I can I can feel the car losing like the initial. Yep, as soon as I say that, the tire wear indicator shows up. So yeah, okay, I was right. I don't know uh, who's the actual leader now. It has to be somebody like, obviously, but like I I don't know who it is. It could be Ricky Rudd maybe or somebody sort of start up on the pole in the race. I can't remember. I'm sorry, Stuart. I have to keep the bottom lane. I don't mean to block, but I just I <laughs> gotta hold the bottom. And Stuart's gonna try to get me on the outside, and you looked like he was trying to make it three wide right there, because Brett Bodine was on the outside. It looked like he might have hit the wall, and Stuart loses a spot. Damn. <laughs> this is good racing. Like there's stuff going on like all over the place, just trying to hang on to positions and everything. So this is some good shit. I mean, normally in NASCAR heat, there's a lot of boring por uh, points. I almost said boring porn. That's not possible. Result, there's boring poor points. Oh my god, I messed up my corner because I was trying to explain something. Oh my god. I'm sorry. Kenseth, get by me. Get by me, Kenseth. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to get in you. I love you, baby. Okay, so, lose another spot. Uh, I hate to lose a freaking spot like that if I can't avoid it. But, the NASCAR heat, there's a lot of boring points in the race where it's, stuff can be cut. And here, there's action all over the track and battles uh, for position stuff, so... This is some really, really good racing just back here. I, I'm really uh, surprised that the car is doing as well as it is, despite me making a few driver errors. Nothing critical or anything, just, just trying to hang on. Red Bodine's trying to get by me on the outside. I'm going to try to just do my best and hold my line on the bottom. I mean, there's really nothing we can do. I mean, if they're going to get by us on the outside, then it just shows how kind of crap the car still is, even with uh, the improvements it has so far. I don't know if Burns a position, but I'm sorry. 
my god, I didn't mean to get in the Bodine. Is Burn actually a lead lap position? Or an actual position for me on the track? What will the... Oh, yeah, it is. I, I can't. I, I'm sorry. I had to let him go. God, I didn't mean to get in the back wall. I'm sorry, Bird. I was trying to get down low. And he gets by us. A top 35 I'm going to be a little bit concerned with now because I don't know if I can actually keep the car up at this point because it's, it's getting so much harder to just to hold on. We got five laps to go? No, four laps to go for us because I'm a lap down. Oh my god, please car turn. Turn. Get to the bottom, get to the bottom. <sighs> okay. Oh god, oh god. Oh jeez, that was scary. I'm surprised Stuart can't get by me. Like, I, I'm not really trying to hold him off. Just the car is so <laughs> crap. Jeez. Oh, okay, now almost all the tires are completely worn. And I don't know who... I, I, wait, Bodai is actually the last car for position on the lead lap, so... That means the, the leader is not behind me. They're about to hit the finish line now, so... That's odd. Uh, huh, I didn't even think of that, so... Really, the furthest we can only lose is 33rd, so we'll still get the sponsor objectives. But I'm kind of surprised with that. Please, car, hold on. Uh, it's Every corner is like a magic journey, just trying to hold on, because the car is losing so much grip. Once the tires start to fall off and everything, it, it gets so much harder. I have to back up the corners, and I'm holding these guys up, and if they want, they can just run me over. Oh, God, I won't turn. Sorry, Newman. Sorry, sorry. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Then... Mm -hmm. I, I want this race to end, because in a few more laps, I feel like I'm going to end up spinning out. Oh my god, please. Uh, oh, you know, you know, you know what? Get by me, get by me. I don't care. Get by me. Oh god. Oh my god, I'm sorry, Newman. Okay, we're going to have to really underdrive this corner just to, to keep the car on the bottom. This car is garbage now. It, it's it's completely falling off the market. Oh my god, it won't turn. Oh my god. Okay, one more lap. One more lap. My throat hurts. Please, car. I don't care. I don't care if they get by me. I just got to hang on. I just gotta hang on, get to the bottom, get, get to the bottom. I feel like I'm my own crew chief right now. <laughs> oh, jeez. Please get through this corner. Oh, Mayfield, you dumbass. <laughs> he freaking hit the inside wall trying to get by me, and I'm with <laughs> 30 seconds. Oh, my God, my finger. That was a hell of a race. And Mark Martin, my, oh, that's great. 34th career win for Mark. You know what? That's hot. We're gonna get 32nd. We get our sponsor objectives. We'll get more money in the bank. That was the race we needed. That was tough. That my fucking finger hurts. That was good shit. Really competitive racing all throughout the entire thing. Just stuff going on. Whew. It's, man, it's, it's tough. It's really fucking hard. God damn. So, we get more money in the bank. That's great for us. Mark wins. 34th career win for him. First win of the season, I believe. At this point in time. I know people will be like, What if he has 40 career wins? What the fuck are you talking about? And it's like, well, at this point in time. So next race is the All-Star Race, a.k.a. the Winston Open for us, because we don't have any wins or anything to get into the All-Star Race. So we'll have to do that uh, with the Winston Open, try to win it somehow, and advance into the uh, main All-Star Race. So we'll see if we can do that. Um, I don't even know if that's quite possible with uh, the way the car is, but Charlotte tends to be a good track for me. I, I do like racing there here in this game, so we'll see. We're going to go to the garage, and we got some stuff we can repair. We got some extra money. So we could uh, overhaul some stuff. How long would this take? Two races. Mm. We have money, but we don't have enough to really overhaul stuff just yet. How much would it be normally? Uh, wait, hold on. How much would it be normally? 50, uh, 53, and then uh, 50, 53, 52, 53, 55, 54, 63. So it definitely will be an improvement. We just don't have the money for that. Like, I mean, we do, but we'll be damn near broke by the end of it. So we're going to have to play it safe. Wait. Tire grip. The, uh, we're going to do with the... We're going to upgrade the engine, if it's quite possible. We're going to do that first, because I feel like that's more important. So, uh... We're going to overhaul that. 152k for three races. And we're going to go to the body. And see what this will be. All of it's improved, but we just don't have enough money. Or like we're really like 20k short. I'm not. I'm not gonna risk that. So, uh, the body and chassis we're just gonna repair normally for now. And since with this new guy we have, they can re fucking repair it in one race. God damn. So we're gonna repair the chassis for number one, and then we're gonna go to body, and then repair this one. 
oh, I want to upgrade that shit because it like that, that like two percent would be so like be so much of a help. So, 51k, 30. Yeah, 51k for that. We can definitely swing that. Um, now we're down to 79k. Jesus Christ, we're really squandering for money right now, but. The car is performing much better. I mean, we're getting top 30s at least. We're getting the sponsor objectives and everything we need. Actually, I want to check my uh, my team and see their happiness meter, 73. Some of it's actually went down. What the fuck? Actually, instead of it being like a 75, it went down. What the hell? What do I do to improve that then? Oh my god. I don't know. So next race will be at the, the All-Star Race. I'll, we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching. Like I always say, uh, I do appreciate the love, feedback, and support. All you guys give me in the comment section below and as well as liking the video because it helps me out a lot in the long run. So thank you for watching. I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.